Hi everyone. So one of the world's largest asteroid craters may have been found in Australia. The Large Hadron Collider has delays in being turned back on due to some problem with the electronics. And a couple of astronauts have gone up to the International Space Station for the longest stay on the International Space Station. This is your weekly science news with me, the UK astronaut. The largest ever asteroid crater on Earth has been found underneath the surface of Australia. This crater is 400 kilometres wide, but scientists are only just seeing it for the first time because it's buried well beneath the surface. And this is because the asteroid created a massive crater millions and millions of years ago, and over time sediment and piece of rubble, material and everything has laid on top of it, covering over the crater. It's only now that scientists have been able to actually find it. What I think happened was a massive asteroid crashed into the Earth millions and millions of years ago. What happened is it actually split into two. So two 10 kilometer wide asteroids hit the surface, created this massive sort of two craters that kind of melded into one a little bit as well. So this massive 400 kilometer wide crater. And scientists think that this crater is really old. It could be from 300 or so million years ago, which is well before the asteroid that killed all the dinosaurs, which was only 60 million years ago. And we don't actually see any evidence of sort of uh, any animals or ecosystems being destroyed from this long ago. So we don't really precisely know when this asteroid hit, but we think it could be around 300 million years ago or older. In fact, what's really interesting is this crater was only found because scientists were trying to do some geothermal studies, so by drilling deep into the earth, and they actually dr drilled down and found pieces of glass really far down. And this glass was caused when sediment and sand was superheated by this asteroid crashing into the earth. Which is a really phenomenal process, the heat that comes from this asteroid could turn sand and sediment into glass. It's pretty extraordinary, it must have been a really massive and energetic collision. And sadly there's been some delays in turning on the Large Hadron Collider. It was supposed to turn on last week on Wednesday, but there was a short circuit in one of the giant magnets around the outside. There's hundreds of these magnets, sadly there's a short circuit, one of them which means they haven't been able to return on the Large Hadron Collider since its last upgrade. Now because these magnets are cooled to hundreds of degrees below zero degrees Celsius, it takes a lot of time for them to warm them back up to a normal state, for them to repair the systems, and then to super cool them back down to these minus 200 and whatever degrees Celsius. And so this is a really, really long and hard process to do. And this is why it's going to take several days or several weeks until scientists can get the whole system back up and running. The Large Hadron Collider has been down for a couple of years since they've been upgrading it, and hopefully once this problem is fixed and the upgrades are all finished, they should be able to send particles around at much higher energies than they did before. And this should mean we'll be able to see a lot more particles and get a lot more physics out of the Large Hadron Collider. So two astronauts have gone up to the International Space Station. This is really special because these two astronauts will stay on the International Space Station longer than any other astronauts before them. Now, they won't stay in space the longest of any astronaut because some Russian astronauts actually stayed on the old Russian space station Mir for much longer than a year. However, for the International Space Station, this will be a world record. And this is really important because as we start looking for longer space flights and longer stays in space for astronauts, we're starting to come across a lot of problems. And these are a lot of health problems such as m muscle deteriorations, this is when muscles become weaker, and bone density reduction, this is when bones become less dense. And these are really serious medical problems. And there are other ones as well, such as problems with the immune system and problems with eyesight astronauts are starting to face. So this will be sort of a chance for scientists to study astronauts for a long time in space and see the effects on their health. And this is all kind of in preparation as well for future missions to Mars where astronauts will have to spend several months inside spaceships going all the way to Mars and so this is kind of a, a precursor for those long distant journeys. So thank you very much for watching, that was your weekly science news. Don't forget you can leave any comments on the video or any of the news stories that maybe you saw in the news that you want to talk about in the comments below the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and check me out on Twitter at UKAstronaut and also now at Facebook at UKAstronaut as well. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys all soon. There's something special about seeing a solar eclipse. Many of us will only get to see one during our lifetime because they're that rare an event. Solar filters on cameras and solar eclipse glasses means that millions of us can get together and enjoy this spectacular event together. But what is a solar eclipse? What causes it? And what science can we do with one? 